William, what are you doing here? I told you Richard doesn't want to see you, please. But how do you know? He doesn't know I'm here, right? Please, let me talk to him. How can you say that? You abandoned us when he was a baby and now you want to see him? I know I did wrong, but we have talked about this before. I apologized many times. Please. I just want to talk to him to explain him everything. Why I left and that I'm here now. I know why you left. You said you had to work hard for us, but you never came back. Never. I know I made a terrible mistake and I'm really sorry. I want to make it up to you both. Please let me talk to him. I only want to explain him everything. That's it. Please do it for him. I promise my intention is not to hurt you. I want to help you. I have been coming here to beg you every day for one year. Please let me talk to my son, Sophia. I don't want you to hurt him. He is happy now. Although, I suppose he deserves an explanation. Okay, you can talk to him. But I will be behind the door in case he needs me. Do you agree? Yes, of course. Thank you so much for this opportunity. You won't regret it. Good morning, sir. My mom told me you want to talk to me. Who are you? Yes, Richard. I need to talk to you because there is something important. There is something really important I need to tell you. I suppose you don't know who I am. No, 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 I don't know you, but I am getting worried now. What's going on here? Richard, I know I haven't been here for a long time, but I came back now. I came here because of you. I really need you to understand why I did what I did, son. Son, why do you call me son? What's happening here? Who are you? Please, I need you to take a seat so we can talk about this. Take a seat. Okay, I already took a seat. Now, tell me what's happening. I don't understand. I know I was absent, but I finally came, son. I am your father. I am here. What are you talking about? My father died many years ago. No, Richard. I didn't die. I had to leave because of some problems, but I'm back, son. Now, we can take back all that time we couldn't spend together. We can go out together. You can tell me about your girlfriend, if you have one, of course. We can go to the football matches together, son. I want you and it spends a lot of time together. 
I have already told you, sir. My father died many years ago. I don't have a father. My mother is my mom and my dad. My father died when I was born, sir. No, my son. I didn't die. I'm here. I'm back and... You say you're my dad? Then, why weren't you here all these years? What happened? Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I haven't explained you what happened. What happened was that I had to leave when you were born because I had to work hard. I had to make money for you, my son and your mom. That's why I traveled to Europe. To work hard and make money, and I did it. I have enough money now. We could. No, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about, sir, but we're not doing anything. It's good you went to work hard and earned a lot of money. Good for you. I don't care. You can go back to Europe or any other place. I'm fine here. No, no. You do not understand the situation. I have money. I don't care if you have money. My father died when I was born. That's it. I need nothing from you. I don't want to go out or have any relationship with you, sir. You are right. How dare I come like this and tell you all these things just like that? I'm really sorry, Richard. I was excited to meet you and I didn't realize you didn't see me as your dad. For you, I'm a stranger now and that's logical. I wasn't here to watch your first steps. And now I come like this and ask you to be my son, like everything was fine, but it isn't. What I did is unforgivable. You are not obligated to forgive me. I abandoned you. I can tell you thousands of excuses, but that's the truth. I panicked when you were born. I felt I was not prepared to be a father. I didn't have the money and... Anyway... Maybe you panicked. But my mom didn't. She raised me and she did it well. She was always there for me, even when I had my first girlfriend. She is my father. Now you came here and say, I'm your father. That's stupid. We're fine, sir. I don't need you in my life. I am happy with my mom. Thanks for coming. Yes, I understand. Maybe you don't need me in your life. I know that. But I want to be part of your life, Richard. And I will do everything possible to earn your forgiveness. I know you don't trust me now, but I will fight for you, my son. Until you forgive me. You can do whatever you want, sir. 
As I already told you, I don't need you in my life. I'm happy like this. And my father, my father died when I was born. No, that's not true. My father is my mom. She is everything to me, and we're happy. We don't need you. And we don't need your money either. I hope you understand. Don't come back again. I don't want to see you anymore in this house. And now, leave, please. I have things to do. I get it. Don't worry, I won't bother you, but... I will show you how much I love you. You don't love anyone. A man who is capable of abandoning his own child cannot love anyone. Maybe I'm still a child, but I understand many things. So, now, leave, please. Get out. Okay, Richard. My son, I will fight for you, I promise. I won't give up. I'm going to show you how sorry I am. And I will try to make things up to you and your mom. Don't you understand? We don't want your money. And stop calling me son. Get out. All right, son. I'm really sorry. I will fight for you. See you soon. Richard, my son. Did you talk to your dad? Are you okay? I'm sorry. I just... I'm fine, Mom. And don't worry. That man is a stranger for me. Richard, you can be yourself with me. There's no need to pretend you're okay. Why, Mom? Why did he come today? Why did he show up now? Like this. I. I don't know. I always wanted to meet my father, but now I don't know. I'm not sure. Should I forgive him? Should I hate him or love him? What should I do, Mom? I know seeing your father for the first time was a strong impression. Please, forgive me. But let me tell you something. I will always support you no matter what. I will support your decision. And most important, I will always love you and be with you. Thank you, Mom. I will have to think about it. Now. I want to be alone. I love you so much. You are the best mom in the world. You're everything to me. And I want you to know that that will never change. You will always be my priority. I love you so much. You are the love of my life. Thank you, Mom, for always being there for me. My Richard, my son. You are the love of my life. You are everything to me, baby. I love you so much. <laughs>